assalamu alaikum hope you all are fine i am going to start my second lecture about mercantile law in a previous lecture we discussed about contract and its essentials now we start our discussion on kinds of contract we classify contract according to enforceability according to formation according to performance according to parties now we discuss each of its classification in detail according to enforceability enforceability means creation of legal obligation between the parties according to enforceability a contract can be divided as valid contract void contract void agreement unenforceable contract illegal agreement number 1 valid contract an agreement enforceable by law is a valid contract an agreement becomes a contract when it fulfill all the essentials of a valid contract in a valid contract all parties are legally responsible for the performance of contract if one of the parties breaches the contract the other party can enforce it through the court of law for example c agrees to sell his car to b for rupees 5 lakh b agrees to buy it it is a valid contract if c fails to deliver the car b can sue him and if b fails to pay c can sue him now void contract the word void means not binding in law according to the contract act 1872 section 2 subsection j a contract which ceases to be enforceable by law becomes void when it ceases to be enforceable it means that a void contract is a valid contract when it is made but subsequently it becomes void due to certain reasons reasons are impossibility of performance subsequent illegality rejection of voidable contract impossibility of depending events first condition impossibility of performance a contract becomes void due to impossibility of performance according to the contract act 1872 section 56 a contract becomes void when it becomes impossible to perform by any party due to any reason for example c agrees to sell his house to b after 2 days the house is burned the next day the contract becomes void due to impossibility of performance second condition subsequent illegality a contract becomes void by 
subsequent illegality according to contract act 1872 section 56 if a contract is made between two parties but before the performance of the contract a new law makes the implementation of the contract become illegal the contract become void for example c agrees to sell 100 bags of wheat to b before delivery of wheat the government put a ban on private trading of wheat the contract become void now the third condition third condition is rejection of voidable contract if the consent of one party is not free the contract is voidable according to contract act 1872 section 19 the parties whose consent is not free has the right to reject or accept the contract a voidable contract becomes void when the party whose consent is not free reject the contract for example c forcibly buys b's car for rupees 20000 the contract is voidable at the option of b b may accept or reject the contract if b rejects the contract it becomes void fourth condition impossibility of depending events according to the contract act 1872 section 32 the performance of a contingent contract depends upon the occurrence or non occurrence of a certain event it becomes void when that event does not occurs for example c contracts to give rupees 1 lakh to b if b gets admission in defense degree college b fails to get admission the contract becomes void void agreement an agreement which is not enforceable by law is a void agreement according to the contract act 1872 section 2 subsection g the void agreement does not create legal obligations among the parties in void agreement there is absence of essentials of contract agreement with minor and agreement without consideration are void agreement in a void agreement the party who has received any benefit is bound to return it for example c promise to buy a dog from b for rupees 10000 the dog was dead before the agreement was made but the parties were unaware the agreement is void now the voidable contract According to the Contract Act 1872 Section 2 Subsection I voidable contract is a contract which is enforceable by law at the option of one party but not at the option of other party when contract is made without free consent it is a voidable contract it is considered valid 
if it is not cancelled by the aggrieved party within the reasonable time now we discuss the conditions in which the contract becomes voidable first condition is the contract becomes voidable when consent of one person or a one party to a contract is obtained by coercion undue influence misrepresentation or by fraud for example c stated that his factory produced 1000 kg of sugar daily and induced b to buy it later b found that factory produce only 800 kg of sugar daily the contract is voidable at the option of b now the second condition when one party promise to do something for the other party for consideration but the other party prevents him from performing his promise the contract become voidable at his option for example d contracts to paint b's house d is ready to paint but b prevents him from doing so this contract is voidable at the option of d now the last condition when a party to a contract promise to perform an obligation within a specified time but fail to perform the same within the fixed time the contract becomes voidable at the option of promise for example x contracts to paint y's house within one week x does not paint the house within one week the contract is voidable at the option of y an enforceable contract it is a contract which cannot be enforced by the law to some technical defects technical defects may be absence of writing registration and stamp when the technical defects are removed the contract become enforceable for example c borrows rupees 1 lakh from b and make a pro note on stamp paper of rupees 10 it is unenforceable because the pro note of 10 rupees is undervalued illegal agreement an agreement is illegal if it is forbidden by any law the object of illegal agreement is unlawful it cannot be enforced by the court the parties to an illegal agreement are not responsible to perform their promise there is a punishment for the parties who make such agreements for example c gives money to b a smuggler to buy smuggled goods the agreement is illegal and the money cannot be recovered according to formation according to formation we divide contract into three types 
एक्सप्रेस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एम्प्लॉयड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड काजी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नंबर वन एक्सप्रेस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड एक्सप्रेस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वेयर द पार्टी स्टेट द टर्म्स बाय वर्ड्स स्पोकन और रिटर्न एट द टाइम ऑफ इट्स फॉर्मेशन वेन सच अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज फॉर्म्ड देर इज नो डिफिकल्टी इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द राइट्स एंड ऑब्लिगेशन ऑफ पार्टीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए टेल्स ऑन टेलीफोन टू बी दैट ही वॉन्ट्स टू सेल हिज कार एंड बी इनफॉर्म्स ए दैट ही एग्रेस टू बाय द कार इट इज एन एक्सप्रेस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एम्प्लॉयड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट an employed contract is made otherwise than by words spoken or written it arises from the act or conduct of parties or circumstances of the particular case it arises when one person without request provide services and expect to be paid for them and the other person accepts those services for example b went into a restaurant and had a cup of tea it is an employed contract and b must pay for the cup of tea now the kazi contract a kazi contract is not a contract it is similar to a contract it is an obligation created by law in the absence of the contract it is based on the principle of equality that a person shall not be allowed to get benefit at the cost of other for example c leaves his goods at b's house by mistake b treats the good as his own and use them it is a quasi contract b is bound to pay for the goods according to performance according to performance we divide contract in two types executed contract and executory contract number 1 executed contract in an executed contract both the parties completely fulfill their obligations it means that nothing remains to be done by either party under the contract for example b buys a book from a a delivers the book and b pay the price it is a executed contract now executory contract in an executory contract some obligations remain to be fulfilled a contract is said to be executory when both the parties to a contract have not performed their obligations for example m sell his car to n for rupees 2 lakh and has not yet paid the price and m has not delivered the car the contract between m and n is executory according to 
parties according to parties we divide contract in two types one is unilateral contract and the other is bilateral contract unilateral contract it is a one sided contract it is a contract where one party makes a promise in exchange for performance of a particular act by any party it is a contract where only one party is bound but the other party chooses to be bound by it for example c promise to pay rupees 1000 to anyone who found his lost bag b found the bag and return it to c it is unilateral contract which came into existence when the bag was found bilateral contract it is a two sided contract in this contract both the parties exchange mutual promise parties are bounded to perform certain duties responsibilities and obligations for example c promise to paint a picture for b and b promise to pay rupees 5000 to c it is a bilateral contract